Good morning guys, it's 6 a.m. I haven't been up this early since school, and that was back in May. I am running my first 5K today. Yep, that's right, 5K. Oh my God, I can't do this. I don't know why I'm doing this. So I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup, just a little bit of concealer under my eyes because now they look rough and they need some attention. Okay, that's all the makeup that I'm gonna be doing. I look semi better. You're gonna be like, Emma, what went through your brain for you to sign up for a 5K? Um, I don't know. You know, I really live by the saying of you only live once. And I was like, I have nothing to lose. Like, could I possibly pass out? Yeah. Will I be sore the next day? Yeah. Will I probably make a fool out of myself? Yeah. I train for it? No. Do I like to run? Yes. But you know what? Who cares? So for my hair, I'm just gonna put it up in like a mid pony. You can't decide between a high pony or a low pony. I feel like I'm just gonna do a high pony because I'll just do it like right here. I look like a boy. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. Oh. Why is there a bump right there? It just looks stupid because I curled my hair and it sticks out like this. Should I straighten it really quick? It looks so bad. Okay, this is what we're doing with my hair. I think it looks better now that I straightened it. Okay, so when I get there, they're gonna provide me with a shirt that I have to wear. So I'm just gonna change when I get there because I'll have a sports bra on. But I think I'm gonna do like running shorts with like a fleece jacket for right now. So let me pick it out. So I'm gonna change into my Lulu running shorts. Then I have a gray Nike sports bra. And then I'm just gonna wear this to the police because it's cold and it fits the theme. This is the outfit. And look, the jacket freaking has thumb holes. I love it and it's so comfy so this is what we're wearing and so now it's 6 31 um we're a little late so now I have to pick out shoes the thing is though I don't have a good pair of running shoes like for this run because I plan on doing more in the future if I like it so I will have to spend my money and invest in a good pair of running shoes later on but right now we have to work with what we got these but I don't even know if these count as running shoes. Adidas tennis shoes? I don't even know what these are called. I've had these for so long. I don't even know if these are comfy enough. Like, do I wear these? I had no idea. <laughs> then I stole these from my mom's closet last night. I thought these looked like running shoes. They're Nike. It says run in the name. Nike Run Swift. Do I just wear these? They say run in the name. I feel like these are for running then. Or I have these, which I've actually ran in these before. I had no problem with them. They're just kind of uncomfortable. So here are the shoes on. These are just too big on my feet. And then these are just not comfortable. I feel like I should be fine on these white ones. So I think I'm gonna go with these and just tighten the laces. I tightened them and they feel good. So I'm gonna go with these. So I charged my Apple Watch last night and then my AirPods as well. Okay, I'm all ready to go. And it's 6.42, so we gotta go now. I almost forgot the most important thing. Okay, now I'm ready. It is 7.04 and I made really good time because I took the highway and I was like, okay, that was the smart decision because I'm like maybe five minutes away. So I'm gonna be there on good time, which is good. I'm not stressed anymore, but I'm definitely nervous. That's an understatement. Guys, it's literally legit. There's the freaking like, <laughs> oh my gosh. 
I made it and there are so many people here and I'm freaking nervous to walk in alone. Not even nervous to run. He's so stressed out because this is so embarrassing that I'm doing this alone. I cannot believe I'm doing this right now. I didn't even stretch. I didn't even train for this. Do I just do it or do I not? Do I just leave? No, I should do it. I feel like I should do it. It's only right for me to do it. Like, that'd be me quitting and that's not okay. We are not quitters. I'm so nervous to get out of my car right now. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Fun fact though, we're running at the Braves Spring Training Stadium. If you guys are a fan of the Braves. <laughs> okay, I went in. I found my bosses. It was great. It, there was a lot of people and there are some people that I actually know. But look, I got my bib. They also gave me a shirt, but it's so cold that I'm not putting a t-shirt on. I know I'm going to sweat, but I would rather wear this just because I'm more comfortable in this. But yeah, it's official. I'm running. And so I walk up to my bosses and they go, oh my gosh, you made it. And I was like, yeah. And they were like, well, that sucks. I lost the bet. And I was like, you really placed a bet on me? <laughs> Amber goes, yeah, I didn't think you were coming. So yeah, that is how my morning's going. But um, I came back because I needed to put that bag in my car and then my purse in my car. And so I'm just taking my key and then my AirPods. And then I'm going to give my AirPods case to Amber and then my key to Amber as well. So I will see you guys at the starting line. I'm dying. It's only been like 15 minutes. Hi, update. I've been running for 21 minutes. Oh my, I really got a train for this and I did not. I've ran 1.62 miles, which for me, no training, no really physical workout. I mean, I think it's pretty good, so. I'm currently walking because I'm tired and I have cramps, but I gotta go all the way over there. I should be over there, but you know, this is just for fun, so. I at least wanna get under 40 minutes just because that's my goal. So <laughs> I'm so out of shape to be doing this, but you know, you really gotta start somewhere. So I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. I'm tired of listening to music though. So I stopped my music just so I can focus more, but just wanted to update you that I'm not even halfway there and I'm dead. Yo, I don't know what possessed me to do this. <laughs> I'm like this close to giving up. I'm not in last though, because there's people over there. But honestly, at this point, it's not even a competition. I'm just running for the fun of it and for my physical health. But man, am I dying inside. Okay, I fit, I mean, I hit the two mile mark. Sorry if the camera is shaky. They give us water. One more mile, almost there. This is ridiculous. You know, running is the worst thing ever. Hate it, but I'm not a quitter. I am not a quitter. That's what I keep telling myself because this is so stupid. Come on, Emma! Come on, Emma! Come on, go, Emma! Go, go, go! Yay! I'm a board quitter. Is future award yet? Not yet. <laughs> Guys, I finished my first five <laughs> I'm done. I literally did it. Literally nothing is impossible. That's the only thing you can take from this video is that nothing is impossible. I'm officially home, showered, I feel great, and all I have to say is wow. If you've never run a 5k, I'm not gonna say it's like life-changing, but it's just a great experience and I absolutely loved it. <laughs> like I had so much fun even though like I was dying on the inside and I was like not like in shape for it at all. It's still fun. All I'm gonna say is that you have to start somewhere and and today is where I started my running journey. <laughs> Just because I loved it so much and there is actually another 5k in two weeks, December 17th, and uh, my bosses are doing it as well. And I was like, I kind of want to do it. I was struggling. Like we all saw that I was struggling, but like, at the end of the day, crossing the finish line was just the best feeling. Like the adrenaline and like everyone cheering you on was just great. And then getting a medal put over your head. I also talked to so many people while running. Like me and this girl like had like a 50 15 minute conversation. We were literally talking about how her husband did a triathlon in Hawaii. Insane. <laughs> The one thing that you can take from this video is just that nothing is impossible. Like I honestly thought that this was going to be like the hardest thing of my life. Like I was going to die. No, it was actually such a great experience and I literally can't wait till the next one. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to uh, keep running. I'm going to invest in a pair of good running shoes and you know, I'm just a beginner. I'm going to go down this running journey just because I loved it. So as I crossed the finish line, it showed my time and I'm pretty sure it was like 42 minutes. I wanted to be under the 
40 minute mark, but 42 isn't that bad, especially for me. I, it wasn't like I needed to have the fastest time. I'm proud of it and hopefully I train, I get better and my uh, time just keeps going down every time that I do a 5K. So I'm gonna go through the things that I got. Here's my bib, I was number 380, definitely keeping this. Then here's the shirt. I just kept my jacket on because it was cold. Super cute. It's kind of funny. Um, my work actually printed these. Oh my gosh, I got a, I got a pin. It says, I was there, Atlanta Brave Spring Training. Nice. I got this like little pamphlet. It has a baseball player on it. I don't know who that is, but yay. Also, this is kind of funny. I placed, I got second place. So I got a hat because I placed, which I won't ever wear this. I asked Mark if he wanted it and he was like, no. <laughs> I was like, okay. The best thing of all is this ginormous metal. It's so heavy. Like, I wish you could feel how heavy this is, but I think it's really cool that I got. So that's everything I got from today's race. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all very soon back with more videos. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.